sorry. Um, okay. So in terms of my eating, um, well, ever since I came back from the, from the retreat, I have not binge. Um, I told you my eating habits were pretty not um, well, like before I left, but uh, I've been able to kind of contain myself and if I am, if I did snack, I would make sure, excuse me, I would make sure that I would just get whatever snack that I wanted or that I was um, hungry for and then I would stop at whatever that was, whether it was like a granola bar or a banana or, or a handful of peanuts or whatever. Um, so I've been really good with that and honestly, again, like it, it has a lot to do with prayer because I've been like, I have been struggling still because I, I, I'm tempted. Like I, there's temptation, and I feel like more than ever, I'm gonna be tempted more than ever now, especially now. So um, I'm just holding, staying true to my goal and my desire to like fight this, and um, it's been working so far. Um, and finally, finally, I started working out. Well, it's only been the second day today, but I started working out yesterday, yesterday is Monday. And I finally decided to just, like, snap out of my lazy, um, don't want to work out, uh, phase. And, um, I, I opened up my computer, turned on my insanity. Uh, one of the Insanity workout videos, and I finally did it, um, and then I did one this morning before I went to school, and I am like in so much pain, but that's what I get for not working out for like over a month now, um, but I feel like after two weeks, I'll be okay, it's just that little hump that I have to try to like get over and like just like suck it up, and because I know that I'm going to be okay like in probably in two weeks will probably be gone by then. Um, but yeah, like my back is like in pain and um, I just feel it everywhere. So um, I guess that's what I get for not working out for a while. Um, uh, what else? I mean, like, I guess I'm start, I'm slowly but steadily getting back on track, um, and um, I hope you guys um, are as well. And, um, I just, um, I don't know. I guess I, I just really uh, at the point where I just want to try and stay positive. Um, of like my weight and all that stuff because I still have to have security um, even though like I want to say I have I'm not insecure anymore and I'm free of that um, I, I can't help it and um, but I know like it, I know in time I'll like you know like as soon as I get back into my um, my zone and stuff like I'll start feeling a lot better um, in terms of school, ugh, so this is the second week of summer school and I'm just hating, like, like, I hate online courses with a passion. I didn't realize how, like, rid ridiculous they are. Like, I hate having to go check online for my assignments and I always have this constant fear that I'm gonna forget something and miss a deadline and it's just really annoying that I have three online courses um, with my other course that I'm not, my, with, which I'm actually going to school for um, that's been okay um, it's, it's a slow start but um, I'll get there <laughs> um, other than that I mean I guess that's basically it um, Oh, sorry, my hair is just annoying. My bangs, I'm trying to grow my bangs out. Um, but they're just taking forever to grow. And so my hair, like the rest of my hair is like so long. But I am, like I want to cut it. But I, 
don't because I actually want to donate my hair. Um, I've always wanted to, but the last time I had my hair long, it was dyed and I didn't. Um, so I didn't feel like I should donate that, but I actually want to donate it this time. And they have like a minimum of eight inches, and that's probably like. I don't know, like that much. And I don't know if I can part with that much hair right now. <laughs> so I'm probably going to wait a bit and see and maybe let my bangs grow a bit and decide what exactly I want to do with it. But I mean, I think this is like the longest I've ever had it. <laughs> but that's three years. Three years I'm not cutting it. Maybe one trim, but that's it. I'm like, I don't want anybody to touch my hair, especially any hairdressers, because I know they love cutting hair, and you ask them to cut this much, and what do they do? They cut this much. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I should probably cut this video, um, end this video now. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I guess I'll just have to say it in my next video, whenever that will be. Uh, but again, I hope you guys are doing amazing, and um, I will make a video as soon as I can. Oh, but before I leave, I want to I just want to share one thing with you guys. One second. Actually, a a Bible verse that I want to share with you guys, and it was kind of a really um it was I felt like it was a, something that God wanted me to read because I decided to just flip um, through a, a page, a random page in my Bible that I still have to like start reading um, more frequently, but um, I flipped to, to this specific page and I just, I read whatever was in front of me and it totally spoke to me, especially at that moment that I read it, and I just want to share it with you guys and maybe you'll get something out of it. Okay. Okay, so this is from Matthew. Uh, 5 starting at verse 3 um, till, till about 13 I guess for now okay so hmm. humble men are very fortunate he told them for the king for the kingdom of heaven is given to them those who mourn are fortunate for they shall be comforted the meek and lowly are fortunate, for the whole wide world belongs to them. Happy are those who long to be just and good, for they shall be completely satisfied. Happy are the kind and merciful, for they shall be shown mercy. Happy are those whose hearts are pure, for they shall see God. And happy are those who strive for peace, they shall be called the sons of God. Happy are those who are persecuted because they are good, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. When you are revived, when you are reveled and persecuted and lied about, because you are my followers, wonderful, be happy about it, be very glad. For a tremendous reward awaits you up in heaven, and remember the ancient prophets were persecuted too. You are the world's season seasoning to make it tolerable. If you lose your flavor, what will happen to the world? And you yourselves will be thrown out and trampled under... Uh, sorry underfoot as worthless. You are the world's light, a city on a hill, glowing in the night for all to see. Don't hide your light, let it shine for all, let your good deeds glow for all to see, so they will praise your heavenly Father. So that's that. Um, again, everyone have a good night, and I'll talk to you guys later.